Hey guys, welcome to another one review. Today I'm going to try this uh, Healthy Choice Simply Steamers. This is the Southwest style chicken burrito bowl. It's chicken breast with vegetables and a blend of cheeses served with whole grain brown rice in an enchilada sauce. Uh, we bought this at Kroger. It was $4.49. It's a low spice level and it was 9.5 ounces or 269 grams. And let's see, 280 calories for the whole thing. And there's your other info for you. And this is a microwave only, I'm pretty sure. I've never seen other directions on these. So um, we're gonna microwave it high for four to four and a half minutes. Do not vent it. Um, stir steam ball food into the sauce bowl. Careful, it's hot. Um, check that the food is cooked thoroughly because you got thermometers, right? So we're basically just gonna stick it in the microwave. I'm gonna do it for 4.15, that's kind of in the middle. Um, it does have a full time, so it's nice. Didn't really work, but it's okay. We're better than some. So this is it. The deal is there's the sauce ball on the bottom and there's like a little basket on the top. And so when you're cooking it, it steams it. And then when you get done, um, you just dump the top bask, the bowl into the bottom bowl and stir it up and you get the stuff in the sauce. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and I'm going to take this and dump it into the sauce. And sometimes you get sauce at the bottom of the bowl too. You just, I used to just break it off, it's fine. Using not a lot anyway, and you stir it up. Yeah, the cafe steamers. The good thing is normally they don't get dried out, so that's a that's a good thing. So I'm going to let this cool off for a minute. I like the you get quite a bit of sauce in there too. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna let it cool off for a minute. I'll be back. Okay, let it cool off for just a minute. So I've got chicken and peppers and corn and beans and uh, rice. So here we go. I was making sure it was rice and not like quinoa or something like that. Couscous, you know, something like that. It's not, it's rice. Um, the texture is really nice. Like I said, the, the most of these cafe steamers you don't get them dry because they do steam in the bowl and they're all sealed up. So you get the, the sauce steaming up through the vegetables um, and the rice and stuff. So it's really, uh, they usually don't get dry. And this is another case of it it's, has plenty of moisture. The texture of like the chicken and the corn and the rice is really nice. Um, hold on. The piece of chicken I just now got was, was kind of tough. But the first piece I got was not tough. So, yeah, it probably just depends on how big the bite is. Or how big the piece of chicken is. The corn is good and tender. Yeah, that piece of chicken was fine. It's a little tougher than what, um, than what I would prefer, but it's not bad. My biggest problem really is with the black beans. Um, they're very, they're not, well, they're, they're kind of hard. Hmm. As I say that, the three I just got were very soft. Hold on. Maybe it was a piece of chicken I got a while ago that was hard. Hold on. I got four more black beans. No, some of those are hard. So those are just like the chicken. It's kind of hit or miss. So the, the three I got, it, the first three I got was very, very, very tender. Then the next four I got, half of them were, were really tough and hard and the other ones were soft. So go figure, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag. I love the, um, the, the textures of all this stuff though. The beans could be a little softer. The chicken could be a little more tender. Beyond that, the textures are pretty decent. They're, they're, it's all cooked well. Um, the rice is not dried up or clumpy or anything like that or pasty. And uh, the flavors are actually really nice. You get a little spice. So you do get a little back uh, burn in the back of your throat. It does warn you though, that the spice level is a, a one pepper, which some people might think, oh, that means there's no spice. No, that means there's one pepper spice. If there was no spice, there would be no peppers, right? Um, so there is just a little bit of spice in the back of your throat, but it's not bad. It's, um, I mean, I've had barbecue chips that are a lot stronger than this. So, um, so this is, uh, it's just a light, um, like tingle in the back of your throat. Yeah, I like the flavor. Um, the enchilada sauce kind of adds this almost smoky flavor. We get something that has a lot of the sauce in there. 
it's almost like a smoky pepper flavor, peppers, uh, and then you get the actual peppers flavor from the green peppers and the um, um, the sauce. So it's it's all it's very um very much a peppery kind of uh, meals where it's lots of green peppers, maybe a touch of jalapeno. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can look. Um, It says it has bell peppers, um, black beans, and that's it. Corn, green bell peppers, and black beans. Okay, so so that is it. It is, it is green pepper, bell, green bell peppers. Well, you get the flavor of those bell peppers, and the sauce also has a pepper flavor too. And you really do taste the corn when you get a, a bite of that too. Overall, it's a pretty decent meal. I wish it had a little bit more, um, I don't know, character than just pure um like a peppers flavor uh i wish you could taste the cheese and get the cheese it says it has cheese i didn't i don't even see cheese in here at all um if it's cheese in here it's a very small sprinkling of cheese and the uh the texture i wish the everything was a little more tender in there is the beans and the, and the chicken the chicken most of the chicken is kind of a dry texture um kind of tough um but it's not like really dried out like beef jerky but it is a little drier than it should be and that like i said the beans are a little bit hard some of them are so overall i'm going to give it um i might give it like a three and a half out of five it's a little bit better than normal than average because i really do like the texture of everything else and i like the flavor but uh the flavor could be a little bit more um complex so to speak and the textures could be just a little bit better and i would probably give it a better uh, rating but anyway for me it's a three and a half definitely worth trying out though if you see these in your area and your store and they sound interesting to you go for it i think you're safe to try it so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching